direct variation, when you have two things, when it says direct variation, that means if one of them increases, the other one also increase. An example, I have noticed lately the last few years that my weight varies directly as T, time, or age. I'll go age. My weight varies directly as age. What does that mean? When I say varies directly, that means if one increases, the other one increases. As I get older, what happens to my weight? Gets bigger, heavier. So the way we write that mathematically, doesn't matter which one you write first, you can say the weight varies directly, that means K times my age. K is a proportional constant. So let's assume that at age 50, my weight was, I don't know, um, 195 pounds. So at age 60, what do you think my weight is going to be based on that equation? This piece is known as initial condition. We're going to use that to find K. At age 50, my weight was 195. So 195 equals K times my age, which is what? 50. Can I solve for K? One ninety five divided by fifty is three point nine. What that number represent? I'm going to be gaining three point nine pounds every year. So now the equation that describes my weight with to my age is three point nine times my age. So you give me an age and I'll tell you what my weight is going to be. At age 60 now, how much am I going to weigh? 3.9 times 60, which will be what? Yowza. 234 pounds. So based on what I wrote there, at age 50 I weighed 195. So at age 60 I should weigh 234. That's called direct variation, varies directly. Sometimes they say is proportional too instead of just varies directly. You might hear it is proportional. My weight is proportional to my age. That's the same as saying varies directly. Two ways of saying it. That's the direct variation. The other variation is called inverse variation. Another example of direct variation is money in a bank. Not in the stock market, in the bank. If you go to the bank and you put a thousand bucks, doesn't matter what the interest rate is. 
you let the money sit for one year, you get interest on it, right? If you let it sit for two years, do you get more interest or less? So the more time the money sits there, the more interest you're gonna get. That's direct variation. Inverse variation is the reverse. And let me think of something inverse variation, meaning if one thing increases, the other one decrease. I'll use me, let me think, got it. The hair on my head is inversely or varies inversely with my age. as my age. Meaning what? As I get older, what happened to the hair on my head? Less. Decrease. Now the way we write that, we go the hair varies inversely. Instead of k times, it becomes k over. That's inverse variation. My age. So let's say if I said to you, in 2005, uh, at age 55, my wife sat there and counted how many hairs I have on my head. And she happens to find every one of them she counted. We have 7,213 hairs on my head. Sounds like a lot. How many hairs I'm gonna have on my head at age 65? Again, this piece is used to find K. It's given to you so you can find K from it. That's why we're giving you that value. So I can say the hair is equal to K over A. How many hairs we had? 7,213 equals K over my age is 55. You multiply both sides by 55, K will be what? 7213 times 55. And 396715. So the equation that describes the hair on my head, just my own, can't be yours now, because my wife didn't count the hair on your head. She counted the hair on my head. So it will be what? Three, nine, six, seven, one, five, divided by the age. So at 65, let's see how many hairs I'm gonna have. I'm going to be down to 6,103 hairs. From 7,213, I lost 1,000 of them. One-seventh of my hair is gone. So that's inverse variation. Now, another example I can think of inverse variation again. Let's say we want to paint this room. And that's a good size room. That's not a small room. 
Now, if we get a state employee to paint this one, this could take about a month. It's a state job, we take our time. So one person, let's say it took 62 hours to paint this room. Now, we can't really wait 62 hours. We have um, a conference coming in on Monday. I want this room painted today. I want it to dry. I want to put up blowers in it to dry it out, get the smell out. So on Monday, when everyone shows up, the room is ready to go. So what would I do? And instead of one person to paint the room, I might bring in four or five people. As long as they don't start having a party here, start bringing beer and drinking pizza, I mean, eating pizza and drinking beer, I should finish it in much less time than 62 hours. So now if we have six people here, how many hours is gonna take? That's inverse variation. You can use proportion. Proportion means if one increase, the other one's gonna increase. That doesn't work there. So that's when one, when you have more people, it should take less time. So I go, well, the number of people, N is the number of people, is inversely proportional to the number of hours. Inversely. More people, less hours. So now, with one person, n equals one, it took us how many hours? 62. That means k for this example equals 62. n equals 62 over h. Now, if we're bringing six people to paint the room, not one, six, how many hours would it take? Notice we multiply both sides by H to get rid of that H in the bottom. I don't like fractions. Six H equals 62. Is it 10.3? A little bit over 10 hours, we'll have this room done with six people. That's inverse variation. What about joint variation? That means you have more than one thing. Joint variation. It might be two or three factors affecting the result that. So I might write to you, I might say Y varies jointly. As T and N. Notice it didn't say direct, it didn't say inverse. That means direct variation. It depends on two things. Y equals K times T times N. Or you might see a problem like this. Y varies directly 
as x and inversely as t. y varies directly as x and inversely as t. y equals directly as x k times x. But inversely as t. Inversely means what? k over. I already have the k on the top. That's y equals k times x divided by t. Directly as x, inversely as t. Some cases we use y. I don't want to use y. I use a. I use y plenty of times. A varies directly as the square of R. The square of R. That means A equals what? K times the square of R. What's the square root of R? Square of R. R squared. So don't be surprised to see the square, the square root, the cube. So that's inverse variation, direct variation, joint variation. That's really the extent of it. Proportion and 